Here we have the current stock market update for D-Wave Quantum Incorporated, stock ticker QBTS. Before we begin with today's chart analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So what we're looking at here is the uh, two hour time frame, bit of an unconventional time frame, but uh, we will be looking at uh, this uh, price structure uh, within these candles, which each represent a two hour trading period. So very interesting trading day today, as we can see uh, the, this head and shoulders pattern that we have been watching here uh, for, for quite a while now. Uh, this is really not a new pattern. Uh, as we can see here, the left shoulder uh, began to form. Uh, the head of the pattern can be found here. And then roughly the right sh shoulder of the pattern can be found uh, right around the same area, uh, right around 1030, 1040. And then, uh, you know, the formation of this pattern is, is a highly bearish event. And as we can see here, uh, share prices definitely crashed very hard during today's trading session. Now, overall, we did see losses of more than 36% on the day, uh, which is actually not as bad as some of the quantum stocks. Uh, this is actually a bit better than some of them actually performed, which might be a bit hard to believe. Uh, There's a lot of downside selling pressure in one single trading day. So as we can see here, a lot of damage has been done to the chart at this point. Now that we have seen uh, this price pattern play out as expected, uh, we can see that the stock also managed to fall through its 200 hour exponential moving average. So it would be this pink line here. And as we can see this uh, initial price candle, uh, as we saw a major price gap uh, lower to the downside, um, we can see here that this, that this initial price candle actually closed below that uh, 200 period EMA. So very bullish event. Uh, this does suggest that this our area of support has now been broken and it's going to be much more difficult now for the stock to start to find support levels uh, because as we can see here, the this, this stock has now effectively fallen through all of its major exponential moving averages. So the real question at this point is, you know, where, where is the bottom? Uh, where is the stock going to actually be able to find some support? Uh, is it possible that all of this enthusiasm about uh, quantum computing and quantum stocks and what is the best quantum stock? Uh, is it possible that all of this hype has finally run its course uh, and that markets are starting to come back to earth here a bit? Well, one way that we can start to identify some potential support levels uh, would be to use the Fibonacci analysis study, as we can see here. And if we simply look at the prior lows, uh, which were seen developing uh, right around the, er the early parts of November. So this is really not a long time ago. Uh, November 2024, uh, we can see the stock was trading, you know, close to $1 per share at that point uh, before this massive price movement here to the top side. So uh, if we simply look at this price uh, momentum uh, movement here, upward momentum movement from uh, just above $1 per share uh, into roughly $11.5 per share, uh, we can see that we're now starting to fall through some very important uh, Fibonacci retracement zones as well. So uh, in addition to falling, falling through this 200 period exponential moving average, as we can see here, we also fell through the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of that prior trending move. So just above one to just above $11 per share, major price movement, uh, the most influential price movement for the stock at this point. As we can see here, this uh, massive crash here did, did a huge amount of damage because not only did we lose this uh, all moving uh, exponential moving average support really uh, we also lost this 61.8 percent retracement zone which is this uh, sort of green line here which came in right around five dollars and 25 cents so this ultimate price low currently uh, is being seen uh, this, this ultimate price low came in at four dollars and 66 cents so this is now the main level to watch here going forward because you know we did see a bit of a bounce from this area from 466 we did manage to rally uh, right back into that uh, blue line here, which is the 100 hour exponential moving average. And then the stock did post highs uh, at $6.78. So that's a fairly significant bounce uh, from a short term basis. Uh, 466 to uh, close to $7 is not a small price movement, uh, at least in percentage terms. Uh, but when you're dealing with major declines of more than 36%, it starts to look a bit weak uh, in comparison. So uh, these are definitely factors that need to be watched here going forward. Uh, finally, before I close out this section here, I will just sort of quickly look at the momentum reading as measured by the relative strength index, because as we can see here, uh, there was some prevailing positive bullish momentum that was very clear here. Uh, this is a trend line that has been tested six or seven different times, a lot of different tests here. So it was a very strong, very stable trend line for the most part. But as we can see here, this recent movement into the downside direction has now effectively broken through that uptrend. So what does that mean exactly? What that tells us now is that there's no longer any bullish momentum that is underlying this stock, and that's a problem. 
Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't generate new bullish momentum in the future. However, this does mean that this pro positive prior momentum reading has now officially completed itself and run its course. So that is significant because this is also the positive momentum that led to the stock's all-time highs at $11.41. So it is a significant movement. It does sort of su suggest that uh, the game is over. Uh, the the music is playing. I don't know. I don't know which cliche you want to use, but uh, you know this this current trend momentum has run its course and is no longer expected to positively influence share prices. And what this really means uh, is that the only momentum rating that is left currently is negative in nature. Now, one thing that, one thing that is positive that I can say about this situation is that the slope on this trend line here uh, is fairly drastic and dramatic. Uh, it's a it's a very steep sloping line. And these are the types of trend lines that are very easy to break. They don't sustain themselves very long, very well for a long period of time. And it wouldn't really take much upside price movement here in order to validate that trend line. Uh, you could probably, you know, depending on when this occurs, I mean, it's a price and time factor, but depending on when this occurs, you might even be able to move above the midpoint of the histogram, uh, which is this dotted uh, line in the middle of the relative strength index. Uh, if we simply move above this midpoint here, uh, it's possible that you'll also break through that negative trend momentum reading. And then what that would suggest is that uh, this recent short-term negative trend momentum has also completed itself. So that would be a positive. I mean, if you're long the stock currently, you really do need to see this broken so that, so that the stock has uh, you know an ability to gain its footing and to start to move higher. So uh, these definitely are some factors to be watching here. Uh, overall, you know, resistance to the top side currently comes in right around $10.50. And then ultimately, uh, support is now seen at right around $3.60. And if we do see a break below there, I do think that you could be looking something, looking at something closer to $2 per share. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it will happen. We could start to find some support, uh, as I said, right around $3.60. But if, this not, if that level does not hold, uh, I think that that would be a very major warning signal, and that would suggest that deeper price movements are likely to be seen near term. So here's the current stock market update for D-Wave Quantum, stock ticker QBTS. Our high value trading strategies membership is currently available for a limited time for only $9.99 per month. These high conviction investment strategies are characterized by superior risk to reward metrics that target massive market beating returns over time. Join now to outperform the market, lock in this special introductory rate of just $9.99 per month for the entire lifetime of your membership, and start trading stocks with the pros.